Okay, bismillah. Wahai mamba, tolong senbai, rezeki kita sudah sampai. Aku ulu, kau capai, tinggalkan sehel, jangan selesai. What I have in front of me is three types of mac and cheese by Cutie Patch Kitchen. They sent us three mac and cheese, two Tupperwares of takoyaki. First things first, on the extreme left or right, whichever. Alright, I believe this is a beef, so they have the beef version of the mac and cheese. I think this is tuna lah. Okay, you know what? Because I can't be eating directly from here because it's not very hygienic. What I would do is that I will be Cutting all this into smaller pieces, put it on a plate. I shall give it a try together with the takoyaki. You ready? I'm ready, so... Okay, so in front of me, I already actually sliced up the uh, mac and cheese. Uh, three flavours. Does it look very messy to you? If it is, then I think to me it's a good mac and cheese. Personally, personally. Uh, most importantly is that you can see the amount of cheese. This is the original one. Strips of uh, halal ham lah. For those of you who are wondering, ham. Yeah lah, now ham means it can be normal meat as well, right? Oh! Wow! First time thinking... Oh my god, the cheese sedaps here. Yeah. And then you have the tuna, tuna. And last but not least, the beef mac and cheese. Whichever preference that you have, you can actually consider getting any of your choice. Bismillah. Because to me, if the cheese is good, then I think everything else should be okay. Yeah. Damn. Gila ni. You know how mac and cheese is usually very heavy right? But it's not very heavy uh, for me. Maybe I just eat a bit only. I like the cheese. Let's try the original one, okay? So the, the cheese, mac and cheese with beef, it feels a bit like lasagna. So there's a very crispy layer at the top. And then you have the amount of beef on the inside. I hope you can see. It's sliding, it's sliding. Okay, bismillah. Call me, I'm exaggerating. You can say that I'm just making things up, up to you. But every bite that I'm taking, there's meat on the inside. This is an honest business. And it's not those full-on minced meat, no. You can feel a bit of small, slightly bigger chunks of meat. Last but not least, tuna. Okay, to be very honest, I'm not a fan of tuna. Um, but I would give it a try to give my honest input from someone who don't fancy tuna. Okay, for someone who don't fancy tuna. Oh boy. Guys. I don't know, but it feels like the entire top layer is all fish. You guys go and see. I just spilled. No, this one legit. I did not even take a look before this. Everything is fish lah at the top. Hey, I'm going to give it a try. Okay, I'm going to give it a try. Ne nevertheless, bismillah. Wow, this one got spiciness to it. Got some spicy kick to it. And for someone who actually don't really, not a fan of tuna, I must say that this is some good tuna mac and cheese. A generous amount of meat. A generous amount of meat. Similar to the beef one. But personally, personally, honestly, again, I'm not here to find fault in the food because I'm not a chef or whatever not, right? But I think most importantly is to put the brand awareness out there. Once again, Beauty Patch Kitchen mac and cheese power. So once again, Beauty Patch Kitchen, thank you so much for this amazing food. Continue to do great work. Continue to serve really generous, honest food business. As you continue to do this, inshallah, a lot more people will benefit out of your business. So, Alright, so with that said, thank you so much everyone. I shall see you guys again in the next video.
please take care, please stay safe wherever you're at, whether in Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand, Indonesia, whatever, not wherever. All right, please take care and see you guys again. Goodbye, everyone.